There are kids on TikTok in Poland that exploded with 3D printed products. The thing is called Kirambit and it's basically a piece of plastic with a bearing that you attach to your keys and then you can rotate your keys on a finger. Yes, it's so stupid, yet it totally works. And I have like 10 years of experience with 3D printing and I've designed a lot of different projects and products, so I think I can do better than that in just 24 hours. The problem is I don't even have an idea at this point, but I want to make this video ambitious. Whenever I don't have like any idea for a project, product, something that I'm working on, I usually just try to find inspiration. But the important part is not to try to find inspiration passively, just, you know, by sitting, relaxing. It's not gonna work, at least it's not working for me. So, of course, like going through YouTube videos, through other projects that people have built on the internet is a great way to do that. But the best one, speaking from my personal experience, is just continue working on your own projects because great ideas will hit you when you least expect it. So don't focus too much on what you are trying to create or invent, just continue working and at some point, suddenly, you will have it all figured out in your head. And that's exactly what I did, I just continued working on another project of mine and then suddenly I thought about model making that I used to do like 10 years ago and about all the little things that you had to sand there and about 3D printed parts that are also quite hard to sand and I thought how about creating some mini sanding blocks to make it easier. I think I finally have an idea for a 3D printed product. These are the models I recently printed um, just for my videos. For example, this one was designed by AI and it's a pretty cool model, but it's 3D printed. There are no colors and it's not really that perfect when you look it at a very close distance. So if you want to turn a 3D print to something like this 3D printed astronaut, there is a lot of sanding and painting you have to do, but the final result is pretty cool. So how about making it easy to sand all of those different small areas by creating 3D printed sanding blocks basically where you attach sandpaper and you can just simply sand every little small area. I think that's a pretty cool idea, I think that's something that can be easily designed and printed quite fast. So before I will start designing, let's try to find some models of that online. And to be honest, it does not sound like a super innovative idea, but at least it can be easily 3D printed, it can be 3D printed fast, and after a quick research online, there is no such thing on AliExpress, Alibaba, or like other online stores. It's pretty niche, but at the same time, it has a lot of potential. But firstly, some online research on printables to find similar models so that I can just quickly print and test them. I'm not going to sell like other people models, but I just want to print, see how it works, see if the idea is good and if it's worth to actually design the models on my own. By the way, link to my printables is in the description if you want to check out my own models. So I found some designs online and I already printed them. What I don't like about this one is the 3D printed screw, because it works fine if you are just going to print it like for yourself. It's really a cool model and you don't need anything extra other than 3D printed parts, but I'm not sure if that will make a great product because this screw is not going to last very long. So I like this one a lot more where there is nut inserted into the plastic part and you have a screw and you can just, you know, it's, it's a durable connection. So this one I really like and I like the shape of that because it will greatly adapt to like any surface on the 3D print. So this one is cool and this one, it has a plastic screw also and it's just a little bit too big and also the way that you insert the sandpaper into it, I don't like it because you have to like slide it from the side. It's kind of difficult to get it right. Yeah, so this one is not really that cool, but I like this too. Having that printed like this with the black layers on the bottom and then orange top was actually an accident. So I just ran out of the black filament and I swapped it to orange and I really like this design. I don't know why, but having the two colors on one part really makes it look like it's not 3D printed. 
And after this research based on models I found online, it was time for some product design sketches. I used to be very bad at drawing and now I'm just bad at drawing, but these design sketches helped me a lot to do all the things quicker in CAD, so I totally recommend drawing on paper even if you are not good at it. And then I started designing in Fusion 360. But I didn't want to create just one or two mini sanding blocks, I wanted to create a kit of five elements. That brings higher value to the customer, so we can basically set higher pricing for that. It looks really cool in general and is a lot more useful when you have a kit of this kind of mini tools. And lastly, it looks really nice in the pictures when there is like a lot going on and you have five different elements rather than one or two. So here is the very first 3D printed set of these elements. I like it a lot, it looks very cool, but obviously there are things to fix in the first prototype. The screw does not fit inside the 3D printed nut very well. We need a tighter fit there. For example here, the nut does not fit very well inside the part here. So when you are trying to tighten it, it might fall off, so we need to fix that. Other than that, I'm really happy with just the shape of these elements. I think all of this will work very well for sanding very small objects, for like model making, 3D printed figures and stuff like this. And there's not really a lot to fix. Maybe this one, because it does not stick to the bed of the 3D printer very well. So I will have to increase the contact area between this part and the bed. Most likely just moving this line a bit here, increasing thickness of that and that, and that should solve the problem. And after printing four sets, each in different color, it was time for some product photography. I'm using a photography tent, definitely it's way too big for what I'm using it for, some filmmaking lights and that together creates a nice diffused light and with just paper background that is perfectly white, I'm trying to get the pictures that are a little bit overexposed. And then I jump into GIMP because it's free, it's not the best one when it comes to editing these kind of pictures, but it's free, I'm trying to adjust the levels and just make this background really, really pure white. And then you can just draw a white line and see if there are any differences between your background and the line. If not, you can crop the image, maybe make it a little bit smaller and your product photography is ready. I repeated the very same steps for each image. Maybe there is a way to automate it, but honestly, I have no idea. And here is the result. Honestly, it looks really nice. The white set was pretty tricky to get right because it blends a lot with the background, but other than that, I'm really happy with the result. Okay, so now we have the pictures, we have the product, it's time to put it online. And the question is, where to put it online. So I have my own online store, actually two online stores, industry.cc and prostechnosti.pl. The other one is for my Polish YouTube channel, so the product will go there. There is also a platform called Allegro. It's a very popular platform in Poland where you can sell stuff online. It's basically like an Amazon, but it's the most popular one in Poland, so I will put my products there. And lastly, Etsy. Etsy is super popular for any DIY projects, for 3D printed products, and there is a lot, a lot of 3D printed products there, so I will definitely also put this product on Etsy. My own online stores and Allegro were pretty easy to set up. The Etsy was not super easy to set up and I had to wait to get registered and that took more than 24 hours. But in the end, I got accepted and I have my own products there. And once you are accepted, putting your stuff on Etsy, like getting the listings there, is super easy, quick and the user interface is very intuitive, so I like it a lot. How many products did I sell so far? Well, it was obviously more than 24 hours now already. It's like three days later and I already sold two products, two kits of these mini sanding blocks. Is it a good result? I'm not sure. I'm really happy that I was able to develop, create, print, take the pictures, all of that in 24 hours. 
I wasn't really realistically expecting to get the first sale in 24 hours. It's not really that easy. If you would like to buy this product, support my work and have a very nice mini tool in your workshop, there are links in the description to my Etsy store and my own online store. If you would like to get the models and print them on your own, I will share the two models that I did for this kit online for free and the other three are actually private and I'm not going to share them because this is my own product that I developed. So sometimes keeping your models private and not sharing them is an option. I've shared a lot. You can find link to my printables and other platforms in the description and get some of my models for free, actually most of them. But these ones, unfortunately, are not free. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye.